Probably this is the A cam right here. Go. There you go. <laughs> hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. We are at Shot Show 2020. We've got another sweet session with the originator of the sweet session, Big Daddy Dave, a close personal friend of mine. And uh, we're here in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Shot yeah. Show, like yeah, Industry Day in the Range is tomorrow. And I'm sorry, you guys start over. God damn it. What's the problem? <laughs> oh, dude, it was fine. That was a great intro. That was a great intro. And so now it's not going to be authentic. Yeah, we're all drunk. It's all good. You want me to push through it, Dave? Stop hitting the light. No, 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 for real, for real. You can't. Hello, everyone. My name is James Reeves. I'm with TFB TV. You are at, by proxy, SHOT Show 2020. We're doing another sweet session, as I like to call them now, with Big Sexy Daddy Dave. You're killing me. With High Point. With High Point. And fortunately, we have a brand new product that Dave brought up. You guys have heard about it on social media. You've seen all the buzz, the undercurrents, the vibrations. It is the High Point AK-47. Let's see it, Dave. Get it out. I'm out. I'm done. <clears throat> no. <laughs> so I love this. See, here's my favorite part. You've got a high point in the most secure. <laughs> I love, this is my, my favorite thing. It's like, what's in here? Is it the Ark of the Covenant? Absolutely. Yeah. Is it, is it a black box from a lost airline? No, it's a high point. Let's get those keys out. Do we have to do the key at the same time and like a fingerprint? Shut up. Just unlock it. Can we pretend? Can we pretend like we have to do this at the same time? Sure, if it makes you happy. Yeah, on three. Three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah, we did that <laughs> the wrong side. All right, let's do it this way. Three, two, one. There we go. See, look at that. Oh, my God. Mother of God. Will you look at this? Get some B-roll of this. Holy moly. Break them out. Come on, don't be shy. No, right, don't be right. shy. You're among friends. We've got five pre-production samples of the YC9. Okay. So obviously last year, you know, we had the 3D printed prototype that was literally just the idea of what we were going to work and with. And if we shot around through that, it would have like f***ing exploded. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those things were literally all just plastic besides the barrel. But this is the These real things, deal, this, holy yeah, deal. Yeah, this is a yes. finished mold, finished slides. These things are close to the real deal. I mean, they're, they're still not done yet, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, on that. yeah, like how done are we talking? Like what? Uh, I, well, I mean, like I said, the slide's done, the frame's done. All the features that we offered from the 3D printed prototype are all in this. There's still some internal cam work, magazine work that's going to be done. So it's going to be hopefully a 2020 release. But we just want to basically show off to you guys that, you know, how far it's come along from that 3D oh. printed version to this. Oh, yeah, the weight, yeah, the weight is there. It feels it's like a high yeah. point. It, you know, like it's going it's to happen. Yeah. It's it, going to happen. It all of our happen. dreams are going to be realized with high point. Last year, we talked about grip safety. Yep. That's still in. Still grip safety. Yeah, reversible back strap, new grips, um, forward and rear slide serrations. Did you go with the removable sights? Yeah, which here we'll... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look. There's one of your options. We have the Picatinny rail you can drop in place. You guys have delivered, for the most part, on what you promised. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. If not more, arguably. Well, actually, if not more, because uh, the front sights, <clears throat> excuse me, on the old guns were all molded uh, into the Z-Max slides. Now, this is our own new front sight. It's, it's a plastic insert, but uh, it will actually take Glock front sights. Oh, did you guys hear that? It'll take Glock front, Glock sights. front sights. I know. I love it. I love it. Um, rear sights. So what's the deal with that? Still our rear sight. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, because it's the longer base, you can do the Picatinny rail like the one you've got there. Um, but we'll probably, the fact that we have the Glock front sights, We'll probably see some more sight options come third party wise. Oh, you uh, gotta be kidding me. Decide. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Pull it out. You have got to be fing kidding me. Sure. What is this? Dave? Like, Dave? What what does it look like? What, is, what does it look like? It looks like an evidence locker. <laughs> what is this? Maybe. So we have like about a half dozen flavors right here. Yep. Dave, what do we have? Well, I mean, again, it's all still the YC9, which... Right, obviously, but you have different variants. Let's talk about them. Well, like right now, looking at the thread barrel, that is the standard. That's how this thing okay. is going to come. You know, uh, the future heat cannon version will say heat cannon slide will still be in the standard thread edition. 
Um, we might offer a non-thread model, just kind of depends on the demand what people want. Right. But otherwise, you know, and this, band this states and what have you. Right. right. Band they want states. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see about that. We're not mm -hmm. as concerned with that. Yeah. Yeah. But we just want to get this thing yeah. out. This, yeah, that's sure. the primary goal: is get this thing out. Mm -hmm. So that'll be your stock configuration. And then obviously what we're showing off with, with the, the red dot model is just exactly that, that you can mm -hmm. put a red dot on this thing. You know, this will be an aftermarket accessory, so we won't want mm -hmm. to model with that. Mm -hmm. You know, the compensator <clears throat> is literally just that. It's one of the new compensators that we put, and actually they put, you can get for the carbines. Mm -hmm. And the I just want to throw it on here for the yes, fun of it. Yeah, sure. The, the tame scene. that massive nine right. millimeter recoil. Right, totally. Yeah, sure. Hey. <laughs> And then what do we have here? This one's got like a yellow sight. Yeah, this one, this is, this is a prototype um, doing like kind of trying to do a, like a high vis. Okay. So this is the okay. whole thing. It's the original mold just in the yellow. Um, mm -hmm. We're still playing with that idea, but mm -hmm. like I said, the fact that it's a Glock, you know, a Glock hole in that slide. So you I think that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited I, I about think, that. Yeah. That should be a pretty big deal. You yeah. Know? I think even uh, actually at SHOT Show, if you come by, we might actually have some actual Glock sights inserted into these things. If I come um, by. You know what I come by. Come on, Dave. Come on, baby. So... For yeah, you, so anything. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see those. Uh, and then, is there anything different with this one in the middle, or is this just so. another? It's just another one. Just another one. Okay. Yeah, stock gun set up. All right, so let's get the uh, high point, the AK-47 out that you guys promised me. No, I'm kidding. Dave, um, the most important questions of SHOT Show every year are price, availability. Price, we're still shooting for around $200, mm -hmm. like the current gun. So mm -hmm. you're... you're I, all the features are, are you just going to discontinue rest. like the OG? Eventually. Eventually, okay. probably. Like when this comes out, you're probably just going to. Eventually, yeah. Collector's item. Yeah. Okay. yeah, exactly. Especially the, uh, the G1 you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The um, G1 you got. Availability. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to snap them all up. <laughs> availability is going to be. Insider when, trading. When they're done. Mm -hmm. When they're done. Okay. Uh, hopefully this I year. I love is the that. Plan. God, what a shot show answer that is. <laughs> When they're done. You know. No, it's okay. No, I appreciate that. What is, uh, if you don't mind sharing, what's the production holdup? Like, what is, what's it contingent well, upon? That's well, kind of, that's kind of funny thing. Like, last year, we had the 3D printed prototype, mm -hmm. which was just that. It was just mm -hmm. showing you, here's the idea we're working on, and show it to everybody off. Everybody loved it. Everybody ate it up. You got to June, we did the whole naming the gun. We got the heat cannon out of it. That turned into, we needed actual model number for the molds, mm -hmm. for the slide molds, the frame molds. So that's when we started getting those things really into production. So the slide, the mold work for the slides and the frames is done. Now it's all internals, you know, mm -hmm. cam work, trigger work. I think like these things still have 3D printed triggers in them. Um, we should have the triggers done here in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and just, just some internal work. I mean, plus, oh yeah, the magazines. We're still shooting for. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, still yeah. shooting for a 10 plus one capacity, maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. Not really sure because that's just a whole another feat of engineering in itself. Mm -hmm. to sure. Go yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. That. Sure. So, I mean, yeah. Magazine so geometry lot, is like a big deal. Yeah. yeah. There, there's still a lot going on with it. But like I said, we're working on. It. That's the big mm -hmm. thing. People don't realize that they think we had this thing ready in January, then they thought we had it ready in June. Mm -hmm. and no, it's it's all been progression. So this is this is the latest progression we kind of want to show off to everybody. Mm -hmm. If any of you guys have been watching TFP TV, you know that high point. They've been the best sports ever. I tell this story 1,000 times. Um, but, yeah, it's like I bought a High Point originally, like five years ago, probably. Like yeah, it, like with my own money. And I was like, oh, I'm going to shit all over this thing. <laughs> and, I, like, I brought it to my range, threw it in the bayou, pulled it out, and, uh, and it ran Flawlessly, and it was a 12-year-old gun, right? Oh, you yeah. guys 12, ran the, 12, years yeah, old yeah. Like you that. ran the serial number. It was like 12 years old. So amazing. ever since, I've had a healthy respect for High Point because it's like you know, uh, obviously, uh, you guys make a product that's economically priced, right? right. Economically priced, right? Yeah, anybody can afford it, and um, it. It has it where it counts, which is the reliability department. Right. So um, I appreciate you guys doing this every year. Um, Dave, you're the best. You know, I personally love you, and TFB TV buddy. loves you. Uh, thanks for bringing these up. Guys, you saw it here first. Uh, Yeet Cannons and the High Point AK-47 coming first quarter 2020. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> thanks a ton, man. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Boom, that's a wrap. All right, are we done? Sorry, was that awkward for everybody? Can, can you beer me? What, what'd you forget? No, 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 you can give it to me right now. Okay. Oh, okay. You want video of that?